much. Well, President Obama, in a speech to the nation on Monday, insisted that the stimulus bill conceived by his fellow Democrats is pork free. But it's hard to see some of this stuff as anything but pork. And here to tell us how some government agencies will be getting extra cash, Christina Rasmussen, Director of Government Affairs at the National Taxpayers Union. Good to see you again, Christina. Thanks for having me on. So uh, we know that energy is a big part of this. That we've got a green president. He wants to to greenerize, if that's the right word. All of these federal buildings and everything. How much money is that actually a part of, in terms of uh, its percent of this bill? Well, it's a small percent because there's so many projects jammed into this overall bill. But the real departmental winners here are energy, uh, transportation, interior, and the agricultural department. And they all have a myriad of programs uh, underneath their headings. But that includes things like you said, the greening of the federal buildings, uh, transportation for uh, money for transit and highways, uh, money to give uh, new headquarter renovations to some of the agencies in D.C. Now, you know, what's incredible, when you look at the right side of that, the stimulus as percent of budget request, and let's just start at the bottom of the list. Let's not even begin with the biggest one. Agriculture, for years we were talking about how all these agricultural subsidies were bloated terribly. I mean, we love farmers that are struggling, but what is it, something like 80% of all the farm subsidies go to the richest 10% of the farms. A lot of these corporate farms that uh, have, are worth millions of dollars, they're getting too much as it is, but they're getting 61% more as a result of this bill. Think about it this way. Every year, taxpayers give federal departments an annual salary. This is what their normal budget. The stimulus is like giving them a massive bonus of anywhere from one-half to one-and-a-half times their annual salaries. Taxpayers are funding this. That's something we need to keep in mind as we talk about this. Just yesterday, the House of Representatives passed a resolution from Republicans, and it was a unanimous vote that all of this spending should be posted for at least 48 hours before the House and Senate go to vote on this and it passed we're hearing that votes could be tomorrow that's not 48 hours we need more time to look through the well, details well not of this only bill. do you need more time but that politicians who are voting on it need more time i mean they do have a staff but it's so clear when you hear them talking that they don't know exactly what's in this bill christina as much as i i love your face and as much as i love my face let's put that back on the screen if we can that full store that we have that will show exactly who's getting what here in this bill and focusing for a moment on the the top line of the list energy now we know that you know he wants to make a, a lot of these buildings in Washington fuel efficient and everything but how much actual pork is included in what's left in this bill there is so much in there. Um, I'll give you another example underneath the energy heading. This includes the money that is supposed to go towards energy efficient vehicles for federal bureaucrats. Well, within the $300 million that the Senate passed for that, uh, there was a tax credit for neighborhood electronic vehicles, basically a fancy name for golf carts. So that's a perfect example of something that sounds nice, it sounds great, you know, energy efficient vehicles, but when you look at what they're actually spending the money on, it's a joke. A joke. Some would say that much of this bill is a joke. Christina Rasmussen, National Taxpayers Union. Well, the politicians aren't doing their job, but thank you for doing yours, Christina. Appreciate it.